Hello, hello, hello. Hello everyone. We're back. We're back with another stream. And today, we're going to be playing something quite familiar. We're going to try a Thimbleweed Park mini-adventure all about Dolores. You remember her? Yeah, let's switch over. There it is. It's paused at the moment. Let's bring that... Oh, where's my mouse gone? Ha 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 ha! So yeah, hello! Um, oh, what are you? Sorry. <laughs> Go away, you. Um, hello to Savage Goose and Master Reap. Hello! Um, so yeah, this is basically... Well, I was going to try and explain it, but it says it in its own words right there. Um, intro. This project started out as a prototype for my new adventure game engine and slowly grew into a fun little game. It is not a sequel to Thimbleweed Park and is probably missing all of the small bells and whistles that would make it a commercially viable game. It was a fun and challenging game to make because we had to use almost exclusively found art from Thimbleweed Park to create all new puzzles. Also because we couldn't go outside IRL. Uh, as a thank you to our fans for releasing this for free, as something you can have fun with in these odd times. Tell me about it. It will probably crash every so often and not run on exotic or old hardware. Please don't overwhelm our product support person. <laughs> Many thanks to David, Robert, Katarina and Octavi for helping out. Um, yeah, those bots are so annoying. But yeah, hello Savage Goose and Master Reap. Um, I think I already said hello. But... So yeah, this is this is a bit of a weird one. It's it's kind of like a hodgepodge of bits they could they could uh, round up from the original game and kind of make a mini game out of it. So let's see how this goes. We have some controls. So left click to move. Yeah, left click to do what the cursor says. Right click to see more verbs. Yep. Left click to walk fast. Oh, sorry, left double click to walk fast and then right double click does nothing. Don't do that. Uh, drag inventory items to each other. Do, 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 do. Okay, if they can't, if there is no cursor sentence, they can't be used of each other. Um, hello, Dennis. Dig in. <laughs> was this made by the Thimbleweed Park team? I believe it was. Yeah, I believe it was indeed. So escape cuts, skips our one cutscene. Space pauses the game, period, skips the current line of dialogue. I shows or hides the inventory and gear shows options. There is no tutorial, we believe in you. There is no voice acting, oh that's a shame. We need to save money to hoard toilet paper. There is no save game, although once you've completed Natalie's tasks, progress is saved. Play again to get more tasks. All right, interesting. Um, the music isn't too bad. No. Very, it's got a nice mystery to it. Anyway, let's get started. Click to continue. Boom. Oh, it's, it's part 10. <laughs> Dolores, huh. I'm excited about my new job. Natalie has hired me to be the Nickel News Photographer. I can't wait to get started. My, aren't we the eager beaver this morning? Okay, yeah, well. We are really just getting straight on into it, aren't we? Um, I'm excited to get started, it'll be a nice creative break from making games. So this is 1988, I guess it's set after the original game. Um, it's not really the morning, it's just after 5pm. Wow, that's a really nerdy outlook. Let's just say we are excited. I'm working on several stories for upcoming editions of the Thimbleweed Nickel, and we need photographs. I've made a list for you, and the camera is in the file cabinet by the door. Maybe I should try and do voices. <laughs> uh, let me know if you need to do Good luck in your first day. Okay, uh, if I could think of any good voices, I might do some, but I'm terrible at voices. 
photojournalist that makes it sound important. I better find that camera, take a look at the list and get cracking. We've got a deadline, so no dilly dallying. All right, I won't dilly dally. I will dilly dally. <laughs> um, I really wanted to like Thimbleweed Park, but I don't know if I did. I'm kind of with you. Um, I, I kind of, I really wanted to like it more than I did in the end. I think that's probably the best way to put it. Ooh. Oh, everything's different. Look at how the text pops up. Oh man. Okay, I'm not gonna, that kind of is a bit, ugh, it's like 3D <laughs> in my face. I should look in the drawer and see if the camera is in here, yeah. Wait, did she not? Am I already missing something? You said it would be in here. Ah, oh, look in. There we go. There's the camera. Hello, Super Flash. Hello, Justin. I see dust bits already, and hey, hello. Indeed, I, I guess there's going to be even more. I mean, I thought that the, the dust was the pixels. I don't really know. Um, being terrible makes it better to watch. It, it was definitely, yeah, I think it, it was curious for sure. These are old photos from the Nipple News. There's a lot of history in those. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, let's have a look at our list. Dolores, thank you. No, thanks for joining the Thimbleweed Nickel photojournalism team. For your assignment, I'd like you to get the following photos for some upcoming stories. A story about the 4th of July, public service piece about picking up trash, column about Thimbleweed County, a good example of proximal phalanges. <laughs> phalanges. There's a problem with the left phalange. Photo of the editor of the Nickel News. P.S. Thanks for helping out while you're on vacation from Mucus Flem Games. Okay, so yeah, I guess this is sort of filling in a little bit. I mean, I, I know it said it wasn't a sequel, but you can sort of gauge from this that after the events of the first game, things were okay. We saved Thimbleweed Park, and it's a year later. Dolores is having a little break from her normal job, and um, yeah, things are still going. Hello, MC Crazy Gaming. Welcome to Thimbleweed Park, a Dolores mini adventure game park. Dolores, what are the options? Hmm, 30 photos we can do. Wow, that's actually quite a lot of stuff. Well, one of them was have a photo of Natalie. So can we just take a photo of you? Lovely. Tick, great. Look at photo. Can I give the photo? Do you want this? There you go. Want to take a look at my work so far? Let's take a look at your photos. I'm very photogenic. Nice one of me. All right. That's a good shot. I mean, you were just standing still, tapping away. I don't know if it was the best lighting or the best angle. What was our aperture? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, can I get some more film? How long was the assignment last? Can I get some office supplies? What can you tell me about my 401k? What can you tell me about my 401k? Best path to retirement as a journalist is to get another job. Oh. <laughs> kind of like game development, yeah. Right, I'm not going to go into all those. Let's, we've got a job to do. We need to take some photos. Yeah, no dilly-dallying indeed. just isn't the same without Ransom. You know what I found actually? I didn't even realise this was a thing, but as I was searching for this on Steam to download, there is a, there's a Ransom DLC where it unbeeps everything, <laughs> so you just get all the swearing. I really didn't know that was a thing. I could have done like a, a late night version of the Let's Play. Pick up that. You know what? I don't like that beep. Can you turn off the beep? Yeah. Let's turn off those beeps, that's annoying me. Um, okay. What we, I've already forgot. Look, oh, oh, yeah. I have one speck of dust. I wish I did a voice acting, but I guess... 
I guess it makes sense, you know. They didn't they weren't gonna get everyone back in just for this little thing. Uh Mark could just throw in some random cursing for you. Yeah, I can. Um what can I I mean I actually don't swear very much. <laughs> so I won't be very good. A stream was some good timing with the Monkey Island. I know, right? I that they've they've listened to the feedback very well with that. They've they've done a good job. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to get it because it is pretty expensive. Um, but it's good to see that they've put in more effort. Okay. Story about the 4th of July. So we need, I don't know, maybe a photo of some apple pie or some fireworks or a flag or... I don't know. Hmm. About picking up trash. Column about thimbleweed. Hmm. Let's go. <laughs> they call him Joe Loudlips. Mwah. I could beep. Beep in hell. Oh, who's that? Is Willie still there? <gasps> That's not Willie. Oh, look, it's. <laughs> wow, Peter's brought his chair out. <laughs> oh, man. It's Lenore. Hi, Lenore. <clears throat> How would she sound? What are you doing here? Hanging out by a burning trash can like a bum? Oh, enough with the wise cracks and I'm so much better than you remarks. I wasn't mocking you, it was a real... This is all you're doing. And she's still got her lipstick on and everything. I mean, fair play to her, she's still trying to look decent. What is all my doing? We're sisters, can't we be friends? I suddenly have a craving for s'mores. Uh, well, I know why we can't be friends, but what, what's gone on? What happened with, with this lot afterwards? Enough with the wisecracks. Mm. If you'd left Uncle... I'm going to stop with the voices, I can't bother. If you'd left Uncle Chuck with the computer, he would have died and I would have gotten my inheritance. But he's still alive and in a sanitarium and legally out of reach. You got evicted from the mansion. Good. Oh, hang on, the new Ransom show. Oh, maybe it, things worked, well, you know, what a nice ending, actually. Ransom got a new show, maybe? It's the best. Seeing Ransom is the only joy left in my life. Oh. Well, good for him. Uh, I heard you swear during Lazy Night's nice D&D podcast. Oh, that's true. That is true. You got evicted from the Mansion Mansion, yes. If you hadn't been so preoccupied with making murder simulators, you'd have known. The bank repossessed the Edmund Mansion Mansion and evicted me and the little brat and my worthless... Why is she calling her own child a brat? I mean, it probably is, but still. All I got to take was that crappy chair from the library. That's like the chair that Frasier's dad has. <laughs> uh... Um, so they have nowhere to go. That's really sad. Not really, but it kind of is. None. I've been blacklisted by all the high society places in the Tri-County area. Have you tried to get a job? What? <clears throat> I guess that's a no then. Barista? Yeah. I hear it's going to be big. NASA Space Shuttle missions. Mission specialist, streetwalker. She could work at the S and D diner. Weekend waitress. That's an interesting. No, it's not. Oh, Edmonds don't work. Oh, okay. We're a disgrace for having a job. Isn't that sad? When I first started talking with Mark, I thought he had Tourette's, but you can't even blame it on that. <coughs> yeah, I used to be foul-mouthed. Foul-mouthed. Um, no, I didn't really. I've never, I've never really saw in my whole life, to be honest. I don't know why. Like all my family, like it's not like I've been surrounded by people who don't swear. I just didn't. Uh, I did punch a kid in the Lego shop, though. Yeah, he was right in my way. This little brat, and he just wouldn't move. And he was like, Mummy, Mummy, give me this toy. So I just punched him. And I don't regret that. I do punch a lot of 
<laughs> I love punching kids. Oh wait, I've just said this. Never mind, I'm just repeating myself. Um, okay, they don't work. Yes. Exactly, I thought you loved little Chucky. What happened with, between the mother and son relationship here? I named him after Uncle Chuck and everything. Oh, right. What good did it do? Evicted. Okay, bye. I'm gonna take a picture of you. Look at, it's a photo of Lenore. Do you want it? Here you go. Lenore, do you want my photo? No. Peter? Chucky? Yeah, have a photo of your mum. You want a toy? Uh, have some dust. Back in my day, we used to play with dust. That's all we had. I can't give the dust. <laughs> uh, I didn't even want the kid's Lego. I just punched him. Yeah, he looked at me funny. I heard he sold a TV from charity shop. <laughs> You're quick to call Marge a bitch. Oh, I yeah. I I sometimes. Sometimes she was. Looks like Madame Marina turned off her spooky motion sensors. She wasn't fooling anyone with those. Oh, right, yeah, because the light used to light up. I hope that punching kids joke doesn't get you fired from my job. Oh no, if anything, I'll get promoted. <laughs> right, what's in here? These are all gonna be the same. Kinda looks like dead cousin Ted from that new game I love. Oh. Okay, good. Hey, Madam Marina. How's, how have things been? Seen Ransom the Clown show yet? Uh, sign out front says you're having a blowout sale. Is she really? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Got any books on Fortran? Sorry, I keep forgetting to have to, I have to read this. Uh, might be one at the very top. If you can find it, you can take it. The only dead languages we need books on is Ancient Caspian. Um, I just want to check, is, is the volume okay on the game? The game to me sounds very loud, but I think that's just my own volume. Uh, let me know. Have you played the Destroy All Humans Duck and Cover mission? I completed it, but I, it was hard to do. I did, actually. That was one... Um, Actually, Duck and Cover, I recorded that. I think it's... I've already uploaded it. I just haven't published it yet. Um, yeah. And I agree with you. I messed up a lot. <laughs> In fact, I think that's going to come out tomorrow. And little warning, I sucked. Big time. I cut out so much failure. I must have failed a mission about... Uh, probably about seven or eight times. And i tell you why... You'll probably understand this if you had the same problem I did. That when I failed and the game re and the mission restarted with the checkpoint, the checkpoint gave the 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 bomb too little health. Like it was a little tiny bit of health, and it would just start on that all the time. And so I couldn't really get very far before it blew up again. Anyway, um, volume's fine. Thank you very much, Savage Goose. How have things been? Been a while since I've seen you around, Dolores. Maybe she should have a creepy voice. Eh. <laughs> I'm on my post-crunch vacation, helping Natalie out. Okay, I don't really care about any of this. Well, let's ask about the clown. I'm sure everyone's seen it. Yeah, it's his best show yet. I go every week. Meh. I hope to see it before I leave. Oh, you know, there might be a little bit of ransom still. You never know. I wouldn't have needed that eye of Newt, would I? What? Hang on, guys. What is a proximal phalange? Phalanges. Oh, I just spat a bit then. <laughs> I just saw it. Um, what? What? What is? A, what is a phalange? What is a phalange?
I feel like it might be something in here. Maybe it was Eye of Newt. Let me just ask her. Got any Eye of Newt? Please. Eye of Newt is right out the back of comic books. Oh. It's not real magic. Nah. I see. Do you see? What are you doing with that hand there, Madame Marina? Yes, I see. Do you really see? Nah. Okay, bye. Freak. The health was terrible. It should have let you start from the beginning. I agree. I just manually restarted the mission in the end to get my health back. I should be a voice actor. Nah. <laughs> I'd be a great, a great voice actor. Wow, that is really loud, that sound to me. Really loud. A phalange is a finger or a toe. Thank you very much for uh, letting me know that. I have no idea how it comes into play. Proximal. Proximal? I'm putting the stress on the wrong bit there. Proximal. A proximal. <laughs> a proximal. <laughs> Enough. Enough of that. Um, I'm not talking to you, Law. What looks like 4th of July? There's George in here. Oh yeah, there's George. Hello, George. A postman's work is never done. Can't stop. Okay. I mean, I don't want to look at everything, because I feel like... That one's scuffed up. Why is that one scuffed up? Can I open it? No. Because it's like, we've already seen a lot of this stuff, so I'm not going to go into every single detail. Ain't nobody got time for that. I have eight shots left. Okay. Ooh. Pillow bear. Yep. Five phalange discount. I mean, I could st Yeah, I'm happy to steal a lot of stuff if need be. That is a, a staple of point-and-click games, is stealing, really. Give me that dust. Turn that valve. Was that valve there before? Hey, there was some voice acting. Some voice grunting. Look at that, that's nice. No, nothing in there. Probably nothing in the box either. Thimblecon 88! Oh, This would look great in my mucus phlegm office if Jay Bane would let me pull it up. Oh, Jay Bane, what are you like? I'm going to pull this down. It's glued. Alright. Who's in the diner? Welcome to the S&D diner, Dolores. Long time since I've seen you here. What can I do for you? I want a hot dog. <laughs> or do I? What are their specials today? Have they got apple pie? Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? Uh, Kobe beef hot dog. Guinea chicken saute with wild mushrooms. Fried... F f well, I can't even say it. Fried frog's legs with sauce tartar. I have a glass of water with chipped ice. Um, some of this stuff sounds very fancy for being a, you know, a greasy diner. I'll have the guinea chicken saute with mild mushrooms, even though I don't like mushrooms. Sorry, the mushrooms I gathered today look to be of the poisonous variety. Ooh. Okay, I'll have water with some chipped ice. Oh good, they have that in stock. Filled with our fancy filtered water and you can keep the glass as part of our promotion. Oh good. You done? Come on. You were very thirsty. How has, uh, how has life been treating Sandy? 
can't complain. Dave and I just came back from our third, third honeymoon. Uh, shut up, Dave. Yes, Snuggle Cakes, who else would I be talking about? Oh, Love Muffin. Oh, man. Well, they've, they've made up. Oh, what a nice little blossoming of their relationship once again. I'm going to leave that for now. Um, just because you were LPing a point and click at the time doesn't justify stealing a TV from the charity, stop, charity shop. Listen, I needed it. Otherwise, I couldn't continue. I said I, I gave them an IOU. All right. Hopefully there'll be another Temple Con in 21. That would that would make up a little bit for 2020. I get that you needed to find Big Whoop, but come on, Joe, did you re did it really have to be from a charity shop? <laughs> I hope you got fresh ice and on that frozen crap. Oh yes, only the best here at S and D's Diner. It might have had a head in it, a bear's head, for heady goodness. Wait, wait, let me just check over this side. Is that the same music? Yeah. Oh wow, look at that. Nice. Okay, bye. We need to get, we, we need to stay on track here. Come on now. Story about picking up trash. Can I, what, do I take a picture of a bin or something or? What is a cone? Okay, what's wrong with B Street? Why is there a cone? The street looks to be blocked off, yeah. Alright. Can we go... I wonder if we can go all around... Um, Thimbleby County. Hey, it's Leonard. Welcome to the Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Um... Oh, the ransom candy dispensers. Look, he's got his merch back. And he's selling them. Giving them away as promotion for the Ransom the Clown House of Wayward Kids. Take one. All right. Thanks. Do these still set fire? Eat. Ouch, my tooth. Oh, dear. Snapping plant. Uh, the cards, the lotto. Let's talk to Leonard. What's up, D? Don't call me D. No, you can call me D. Hey, Leonard. Oh, is that it? I'll find them. I think that was the takeover song the radio was playing, yeah. Leonard's head just stops at a certain point. <laughs> Hang on a minute, yeah, wait. <laughs> Why does it stop there? <laughs> Good catch. I wouldn't even, I would not have noticed that. Right, let's see if we can go out onto the you know the map view. I'm really surprised if we can though. Because that would mean there's a lot of things that need to change. I'd have thought they would have just limited it to the, the town or something like that. Oh, is that, is that Marge I hear in the background? Thank you very much, the knight... The knighty wing. The knight eye wing for following. I'll cromp with you anytime. Which is a non-sexual thing. Okay, no, they've blocked it off. Right. Yeah, I shouldn't dilly dally. So that I'm actually kind of pleased because I wouldn't want to have to explore the whole game. I was hoping that this would be like quite a simple, quick thing to play for a stream. Uh, I looked on, <clears throat> I looked on how long to beat, and it was it said an hour. So yeah, hopefully it doesn't, doesn't take too long. Oh. Creepy music. Lights or dark. 
Empty glass. Okay. Oh, let me get comfy. Oh, no, my chair's sliding everywhere. Ah, um, I bet you got to set some up. Yeah, so I think that's a uh, is a good call, like a firework maybe. Wait, do they sell fireworks in the quickie pal? No, doesn't seem like it. Bye, Leonard. Let's go visit the. Hmm. I hope A Road is not blocked off as well. A Street. Oh no, we were down A Street. Door. Something smells really bad. Very leaky fire hydrant. I wonder if the um, coroner and the sheriff are still here. Oh yeah, here they are. Hello. Hi, Sheriff. Hello, Arena, Dolores. When did you start adding Arena after everything? Not a lot of crime in Thimbleweed Park, is there? I was thinking about becoming a federal agent. Oh, he won't like that one bit. He's going to say, oh, no. Can't Arena say that I ever have? Maybe I'll just make a game that has a federal agent in it. Yeah, that is a lot easier. Uh, is there a lot of crime after the whole big events of the original game? Probably not. Not really. A new vagrant family has been hanging out on A Street. I know. Disgusting. They haven't been causing any trouble in Reno, so I left them be. I leave them be. Probably fell on hard times. Indeed. How old is Ransom if he was around when Dolores was a kid? He's actually 78, but the makeup hides it. Games really do need to be shorter, especially if I want to get through the whole thing. Super Flash, I agree with you 100%. I think games... Games need to be shorter. Well, they don't need to be, but I prefer shorter games. Um... I look at games like the Assassin's Creed or whatever, and I'm sure they're great games, but they're just too long. I would never, ever, ever complete them. I know you don't necessarily have to do all the side stuff, but it's just too much there to do. I wonder what that purple thing is. Let's have a look. I think that one came in the box. What? Wanted. One wanted poster. No reward. It's a wanted poster. I'm just going to go snooping, Sheriff. Don't mind me. Police reports. Reports of minor infractions. Police reports. Oh. Oh, he wasn't happy that I just opened them. Don't touch that, Areno. <laughs> I'm going to open these ones as well. That's odd. There is a police report for trouble at the abandoned circus. The circus isn't abandoned. Ransom has never been more popular. Oh. What's in this one? Police files. Cabinet. Nothing. Yeah, no. That's locked. Okay. Hey, that's an official police arena phone. Someone might call it with an emergency arena. All right, I thought we might have to distract him for some reason. Oh, in the restaurant, of course. These things were creepy. I'm glad they were deactivated. Oh, good. Hopefully all the Tron stuff is gone. Oh, it's the meteor from Maniac Mansion, I see. Does everyone know that they're setting a simulation? What time is this in? So it's meant to be a year after the first game. Um, but that's the thing, is that the, the original game, <clears throat> um, Thimbleweed Park, 
didn't like the ending didn't really explain much like we shut down that thing but then what happened to the people here do they do they all die obviously not but yeah i'm kind of with you i don't really know what they know but it's meant to be a year after so oh what are you doing why are you just in the corner and why is everyone flipping coins what's going on Hi, Coroner. Hello, who? Dolores. When did you start adding a who after everything? Hmm? Not a lot of deaths in Thimbleweed Park, are there? Hmm. Not really. I'm not sure why I still have a job. Well, don't question it. When did you start adding a who after everything? I don't understand a who, what you're talking about. Right there, you just did it again. Have I been drinking formaldehyde? Whatever a who. <laughs> the a who bit is mine. Okay. You and the sheriff should form a comedy team. No, they really shouldn't. They really shouldn't. You two could open for Ransom the Clown. I'll talk to him or who about it. <laughs> I have some great material about extracting a brain. Well, you know, good for him. It sounds hilarious. Okay, bye, a loser. Nothing on my list for this, is there? Picking up trash, 4th of July, column about Thimbleweed County, proximal phalanges. Wait a minute, is that creepy footstool in the foreground? No. It's a skeleton. Let's take a picture of it. I don't know why I wasted the shot, but I did. Oh, that was that one. Okay. Well, there we go. I guess all the fingers and toes of the skeleton counts. Cool. What's this? Thimbleweed Tri-County Seal. Oh, that might be good for the um, Thimbleweed County Column piece. Let's try this. Oh. Hey, look at that. Good stuff. All right. I'm getting the hang of this now. It's a lot less... It's just very loose, I should say. The, the thing is to do. Oh, look at that! Willie's here! Hi, Willie! And he's cleaned himself up. Hello, Dolores. How's business? Business is booming! For watch and violin repairs. Sorry I can't talk, I've got to get home. It's my night to cook dinner. Oh my god, let's follow him. Night, Willie. Isn't that lovely? Oh, wow, wow, hang on, what just happened in there? What just... Looks like... Something definitely just flashed there, right? It says, Willie's watch and violin repairs. Repairing watches and violins since 1957. I think the clock, little clock is fake. Great. The world did end in 2012, so call it simulation or afterlife. You know, sometimes it does feel that way, doesn't it? 20, what what happened after 2012? Yeah, because I think I, I tweeted a few months ago about how things were just so much simpler in 2012. Like, you had, um, you had Skyfall, you had the Olympics, you had no Brexit, you had, you know, and it just seemed a lot more optimistic. And then let's just say the world ended, and that's why things are the way they are now. That's just easier, right? Have I considered oh, have I considered replaying the first two Monkey Island games without the remastered graphics? Might be fun to stream. You know, that's not a terrible idea, actually, because truth be told, I have forgot a fair amount from the first two games, because it was so long ago. Um, and for some reason, like, the third game is still quite vivid in my head but 
The first two games, not so much. So that's not a bad shout, actually. I quite like that idea. Hello, Panda Leader. Speed run of the game. Okay. Oh, my finger hurts. Wait, Phalange Skeleton just figured it out. Oh. That sort of boner. Disgusting. Okay, so hang on, if we're, if we're thinking really loose with this, maybe if I just go take a picture of the trash can or the, the dumpster, will that be enough? Ooh, I missed that dust. Yeah, let's just take a picture of the dumpster. Yes. And a story about the 4th of July. Hmm. What would, what, what's like the 4th of July? Independence, mm, a mummy? <laughs> Probably not a mummy. Can I go up here again? No. Can I push? I can. I remember it took me ages to figure that out before. There's a note which reads, creepy eyes, creepy nose, creepy feet, creepy toes. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Can we, do, oh, I wanna take that, I'm gonna use that. Next Valentine's Day. We're going all the way up. Give me that book. Oh, I was meant to push it. Darn it. Take a photo of the burning bin, maybe. That's kind of 4th of July. Okay. I'll give... No, don't go back up there. I need to push this. Stop it, Dolores. There we go. from Homer. The Homer one would be that one where um, <laughs> it would be the, oh I love this so much, you know where he sends Marge the postcard? Um, give me this book. You know, and it, and it just ends in like gobbledygook. Five dollars, get out of here. <laughs> I love that scene so much. Give me that dust. In England, are you getting as little daylight as up north? It seems like it was only yesterday it was summer where it was light until 10. Now it's dark at four. Yes, exactly the same, Savage Goose. It gets dark about four now or starts to get dark and it's, um, I don't know. It, I, don't, I don't suffer from that seasonal affective disorder, you know, the sad thing. Um, but it is true that I think when the nights draw in like that and it gets darker earlier, the only thing I, I get a bit upset about is just, um, you kind of feel like you waste the day a little bit because it almost feels like <laughs> night time when it's four o'clock and you've just finished work. Oh, it does. Good shout. That, oh no, wait. Oh. No, maybe that was the trash one. It was just doing it again. Darn. Hello, Revelation7. Oh my god, didn't realise you were streaming. I would stay and watch, but I've got an assignment due tomorrow. Are you going to upload the stream? I sure am. I'm recording the stream as we speak. But um, thanks for popping by. And good luck with your assignment. Anything in here? What? What's a... Give me this tape. Probably the solution to a puzzle in another game, yeah. It's a weighing mail. Read important notice. I'll miss this before. Please stop trying to break into the mailboxes. Oh, that's it. It's showing the month of July. Aha, that will do. 
Done. All right, so there's 30 to do, and there's we just did five. So, wow, we <laughs> we're gonna have to speed up. That's for sure. See you later, Savage Goose. Thanks for popping by. Oh, I'm missing chat. Hang on. Um, don't blame me if I'm wrong. I'm rubbish at point and clicks. Don't worry, me too. Marge, you've got a butt that won't quit. <laughs> oh. We watched an episode just before streaming. We watched Simpsons having dinner. And um, we watched uh, Radio Bart where Bart gets the toy and pretends to be Timmy, stuck in the well. Great episode. I mean, there's just, we're getting to, we started at season two. We skipped season one, because some of them were a bit, yeah, the very early ones. Uh, but now we're getting to like, peak, peak Simpsons, like season three, four, five and six and whatever, man, it's like every, every episode is just a classic, basically. Right, let's give her these photos then. That's the calendar one. There you go. Oh wait, do we just give it? Yeah, do we just give them all in one go? The prototype is now over. I want to raise. No. Do I get a promotion? No. Do I get to keep wandering around? Probably. No. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean no? Can I quit? I don't want to quit yet, but can I? Play again and I have some more photos for you to take. Oh, okay, we have to quit to then get new one. Oh, oh okay. It really did just quit. <laughs> Wow, that didn't mess around, did it? Let me just load this back up, hang on. Come on Streamlabs, there we go. Um, my favorite episodes of The Simpsons is always, always have Ralph in them. You know an episode of Ralph that I actually haven't seen in a long time, but it's actually really good, is the one where Bart becomes friends with Ralph and um, they sneak into the prison, the like the old prison, and it's actually a, it's got like a little bit of heart to it. That episode, I like that one. Uh, did I cook today? Eh, cook is a strong word. Um, I put things in the oven. <laughs> I put things in the oven and yeah, turned them midway through. All oh, right, I need the camera. I only have a few episodes, but my favorite one is the episode where Ralph makes Lisa the Valentine's card. Again, a very good episode, yeah. Give me that. And we're sending our love down the well. Okay, the new ones are story about road safety Reviews of some new adventure games. Story about childhood poverty. Okay, I've got an idea for that one. Peace on the closing of the Edmund Hotel. Something disgusting. All right. Oh, Chucky. My favorite episode is Marge, Be Not Proud. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just like, I sound like a broken record, but yeah, a great episode. I'm trying to think, I don't, I don't know how you guys can have a favorite episode. I really don't. I just couldn't name a favorite episode. I have, it really depends on like, sometimes it's the mood I'm in. Sometimes it's just, uh, I forget about certain episodes and then I see them again. And I think, oh damn, this is actually one of my favorites. Yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't even know where to start. Okay, Chucky, smile. Not so fast, Aunt Dolores. Gotta give me a present if you wanna take my picture. 
Oh, he wants a toy, doesn't he? What did we just have from that previous one? Oh, we could give him a, uh, a... We could give him a ransom thing, couldn't we? Let's go give him the ransom thing. I'm around season four of my watch through and I'm too scared to get past the good ones. Well, I tried watching some of season 31 a couple days ago. And... I don't know. I don't know why I trusted it, but... I'd heard that, you know, season 31 was actually not bad, but I think I've heard that for like the past 10 seasons. Um... So I thought, well, you know, now they've just been added to Disney Plus, let's try it. And so I've watched about maybe four or five episodes of it, and I mean, yeah, okay, they're not—they're not the worst thing on TV. They're not. They're—they're they're, they're so easily watchable. Like you can just put them on in the background, and they're vaguely amusing. But it is just so different, and I, I've said this so many times, <laughs> so many times, but it's fine to like the show as it is, but it's just, it's not the same show, and you can't, you just can't compare them, you just can't, it's, it's changed so much. Okay, anyway, back to, back to Thimbleweed Park. Here you go, Chucky. Here's a toy for you. Thanks. Don't let them rot your teeth like they did mine. Oh, Dolores actually has no teeth. Smile. Right, this is the childhood poverty one. Mm-hmm. Um, peace on the closing of Edmund Hotel. Well, that can just be everyone. No? No. Interesting. Road safety, that could be a traffic cone. Something disgusting. I feel like that might be something in... Oh, actually, I'm going the wrong way. Something in the occult bookshop. Yeah, road safety is a cone. Um, Moo Moo, Marge versus the monorail, yep. Both great. What season are they up to? Yeah, so season 31 is now on Disney Plus, so give it a watch. I mean, I'm not going to say that I never laughed because I did chuckle every now and then. But it's a different sort of laugh. It wasn't a hearty laugh. Is the mummy disgusting? Maybe. No, that's some reviews of new adventure games. Oh, right, because to send about Cousin Ted, dead Cousin Ted. Right, 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 right. Well, then what's disgusting then? Um... Hmm. I don't like how clean the animation is, which is a stupid complaint but the production feels too polished for a working class suburban town. I don't think it's a stupid complaint. I think, um, I think the change in animation definitely affects the show. Uh, and I completely understand that, oh, the food's a good shout, yeah. I completely understand that they had to go with the times, that they couldn't do, and they couldn't animate the way they've done back in the 90s or whatever because things have got more advanced in technology and they can do things all digital and stuff but what that does mean is that it does have this very sort of like almost like flash animation look to it sometimes which isn't a great look to be honest with you uh, yeah let's try and take a photo of the hot dogs Is that disgusting? 
Oh, no. Maybe just something down, down the back alleyway? I mean, this isn't really disgusting, is it? It's just a trash can. It's actually pretty clean for a trash can, not disgusting at all. Yeah, no, I didn't think that would work. Uh, hmm. One of the problems I have with modern Simpsons is that they use guest stars as advertising. It's always them playing themselves. The Golden Age had some classic guest stars playing characters like Danny DeVito and Johnny Cash. I think they look more orange than yellow now too. Oh, interesting. I haven't really noticed that, but I'll, I'll keep an eye out. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. Or it, if they do use a celebrity guest star... Um, and they're not themselves. I think, like, very very recently in one of the newest episodes, they had Olivia Coleman. Oh, that's disgusting. That smells bad, apparently. Let's try this. It's really smelly, but I don't think it looks disgusting. Okay, no. Uh, yeah, they had Olivia Coleman, and I watched a bit of it, and... Eh, it was definitely better. It was better than what they've done in the past. But it's still not on the same level. Also, the animation is so boring, takes no risks like the early Simpsons, the mysterious voyage of Homer. Yeah. I think the funny thing is about the animation is that sometimes they, they do take a lot of risks with the animation with the new Simpsons, I think. Especially with ones like Trias of Horror, where they just go a bit crazy with it. But the problem is, and also the Lego Simpsons one, right? That was a pretty weird go. The problem is that even when they're risky, the animation style still doesn't quite look right. So they may be trying something really cool, but it doesn't land the same way. What is disgusting? I don't know why I'm picking up all this dust. I mean, it's doing nothing. Piece on the closing of the Edmund Hotel. I wonder if that's a... Uh, well, oh, actually, maybe I can take a photo from the vista of the uh, Edmund Hotel. Let's try that. Wasn't the Star is Burns feature for the critic perceived as advertising? True. I think Matt Groening really disliked that episode. I don't think he was on the uh, director's commentary for that because he, yeah, when the time came of making that, he really wasn't happy with the crossover. Which is strange because, yeah, you look back and that was actually a, a really good episode. <laughs> um, how things change, huh? There we go, perfect for the story. Okay, we're just on to something disgusting. I really want to put that gif up. Which one of yours was it? Disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna be singing Cher Lloyd. <laughs> oh, the toilet, hang on. Oh yeah, hang on, the light doesn't work. Can I, have I got flash? Even with the flash, there isn't enough light. Okay. Hmm, let's go all the way up to the other side because we only stopped at Willie's place last time. Hi, Willie. Oh, we've got to see this again, have we? Okay. You're closing up late. Mm hmm. Business is booming. I didn't ask about that. <laughs> At least we can see what happened here again, because something flashed inside. Didn't it? Or did I just misclick and I accidentally took a photo? Pfft. I don't know. Weird. It really looked like something flashed before. 
No, what? Oh, look at that. It's like the simulation is glitching a little bit or something. I kind of like that. Did you notice? Oh, yeah. It's like Spongebob, the older seasons are better than now. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that. I was never a massive Spongebob fan, but I, I have heard that. Realtor's office. Oh, this, all right, okay, yeah. Who would want to move here? Good question. Is the dumpster disgusting? Does that count? I don't really think that's disgusting enough, but we can try. Yeah, no, it's not disgusting enough. Oh yeah, look at that, what just happened there? That's really cool, I like that. A bottle. Uh, give me that. What music have you been listening to recently? I'm going to be brutally honest with you, Master Eep. I haven't really listened to much apart from the Hamilton soundtrack. <laughs> oh, every time, right? Every time I go on to... No, this is what happens, right? I'm on YouTube. I'm playing Minecraft or something. I'm just doing something in the background. I'm like, huh, maybe I can... Sometimes I put a video on to listen to in the background. Sometimes I put some music on. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll put on a, a Hamilton song and then I'll start listening to it and I'll be like, hmm, this is good, but I'd rather watch it. So then I load up Disney Plus, I start watching it. And then what do you know, it's an hour later and I've ended up watching the first act. <laughs> and, oh, so good. Maybe I should try the food idea again, but just try one of these foods. Let's try the hot dog. Hot diggity dog. No, I think the food is actually nice here now, so this is not going to work. Fried frog's legs? I don't think that's disgusting, per se. Some people might find it disgusting. You forgot to go frog hunting this morning. Oh, you silly bint. You still haven't seen it. Oh, you need to give it a watch. Honestly. I'm gonna... Uh, <laughs> One of my friends got so annoyed with me, I spoke to them on Zoom um, during lockdown and they said, you know, what have you been up to? And I said, I've just been watching Hamilton, I'm addicted, I can't stop listening. And they were so disappointed in me. <laughs> they got so upset. They were like, oh, you've turned into one of those people. I don't care. It's, it's, well, it's well deserved praise. I don't care what people say. I might be just like everyone else. So be it. Where was that dust? Oh, I got it from behind the milk carton. Now we know what he's doing with his donation money. Honestly, I would, I, I would like to go see it live in London at some point, whenever, whenever that stuff opens again. Um, it's going to be weird though because it's, I'm going to have it in my head so much. The original cast, because I've watched the Disney Plus version so much gonna be odd all the other musicals I've seen I haven't had that feeling because uh, yeah I've had no sort of like preconceptions going in but this one I will guys I'm I'm stumped here what is disgusting I really don't know I think I'm missing something I must be. Hmm. 
Hmm. I've looked in here, right? I've, I've already taken a photo of stuff in here. The doll? Is the doll disgusting? No. How many shots do I have left? Oh, I'm out of film. Doll. I think I've gone everywhere I can go. Yeah. I didn't take you for a musicals guy. Uh, I never used to be. It's only a few years ago. And that being said, I still haven't seen that many. Um, I've seen... What have I seen? Hang on, let me just talk to Natalie and get these. Give them back. I've seen... I'll try and do them in order. Book of Mormon. In London. Well, most of them in London. Book, Book of Mormon. Uh, Bat Out of Hell. Amateurist. Don't, amateurist, don't be rude. Poor lighting. Uh, Bat Out of Hell. Wicked. Waitress. Um, and Mean Girls in, in when I went to New York <laughs> which is really good better get out there and take some more photos we've got a deadline okay well just help me give me some more film yeah. I need some alright Three shots left, or we've got to make them count. In the coroner's office. Good, good idea. Let's check. Didn't one of the characters talk about rotten teeth? Uh, when we gave... When we gave the toy, the dispenser to Chucky, I think... Skeleton's not disgusting, right? It's a skeleton. I don't want to waste my shot. Um, hang on, I should be reading this. It's actually explaining the story. I just completely skipped it. The Tron 3000 machines creep me out more than being in a morgue. In the morgue. Oh, I missed it. Hang on. Oh. I think I missed my chance. But basically, uh, it seems like Chuck is now in a sanitarium. <laughs> Which we heard from Dolores. Uh, not Dolores, sorry, Lenore. I was close. Oh, damn. Was I? Hmm. How have I managed to get stuck on this like really, really simple lit expansion to the game? How have I managed that? I don't know, but I have. Can I go in the bank? Help wanted. Bank teller. Close until we find one. Is the quickie power toilet gross? It probably is, but it's dark. It's too dark to see anything. What about just the door? No. Oh, wait. Oh no, I only have two shots left. There's no power either. Hmm. Maybe I need to make something happen there. Oh. Look at Dennis with the hints. Thank you, Dennis. What do I need to make happen? Let's see. Is 
So I need to... I need to... Hmm... Movie Tron. Can I get a movie? Oh no, they, they, they broke all the... They stopped all the... <clears throat> all the Tron machines, that's right. Oh, bathroom light switch doesn't work. Fix it. Yeah, about that. Management forgot to pay the power bill, so they cut power just to the bathroom, though. <laughs> right, okay. If it doesn't get paid soon, the whole building will lose power, man. Did you forget to mail the payment? Hmm, not the time to be pointing fingers. Here's the payment, can you drop it in a mailbox for me? I mean, management. <laughs> it's literally right there. This needs stamps or it's not getting far. Oh. Okay. So I need to go to the post office. You know what, I, I have been to the post office more than ever recently. To send the <laughs> to send the few pins that I've been sending out, and um, I hate the post office. I think I moaned before about the post office, but I'm moaning again. The one near me is so small, and there's always a queue, and there's always this poor old person who doesn't know what they're doing, and they've got this little note through their post box that they missed a delivery, and they're like, oh, I don't know, there's nothing here for you, sorry, and there's little old biddies like, oh, but I need it. Uh, oh wait, it needs stamps still, doesn't it? Yeah. But I need stamps! I'm too busy. Don't forget to add stamps. Hmm. Let's, let's weigh it. Now, where do I get stamps from them? Maybe it was from the quickie power and I just missed it. Can I just peel it off that box there? Give me the stamps. Open. Unlock. Interesting. That one has a combination to it. Very interesting. Literally every time I every time I post things, the person in front takes half an hour, then I do it and it's instant. Why is everyone taking to I don't know. I don't know why people take so long. It's like when people are at the train station and um on the ticket machines, you know, the the touchscreen ones. You should know what you're doing before you get to the screen because people are having to, you know, catch a train behind you, maybe, and they haven't got much time. So, yeah, get to the machine. Don't faff around. Oh, where's my code? Oh, where's my card? Be ready. <laughs> I want to be a job. I want to have a job standing next to those machines and just telling people to hurry up and be prepared. Is that too much to ask for? Is it? Welcome to the old man ranting. This is old man yells at cloud live stream. <laughs> stealing. Have I got to steal it? Where would I steal it from? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should have just asked uh, Leonard. Leonard, give me some stamps. No. Why can't I buy stamps from you? Stamps is a, you know, a 
a staple of any sort of news agents. No, never mind. Yeah, I just need the answer now. <laughs> I looked up and there's something about dirty water. Oh. Interesting. Dirty water. The only water I can think of is this. Oh, it just flashed. Creepy. Oh, let me go this way. Please. these new. It's time to do the ThimbleCon with the ThimbleCon 88. Sci-fi shows and movies, comic books and the latest computer and video game technology. Get your tickets before they are all gone. Uh, pillow bears? Oh, the pillow bears all worked out. New colours for 1988. Official notice. Please stop throwing your old cans and bottles into the backyard of my bookstore. I know how to curse you. <laughs> Wanted. Clothes donations. Help Lenore out with some classy clothes. Ew. I'd rather you hadn't worn them, but I guess I can't be picky. Natalie has stamps. Okay, thank you, Super Flash. Hey, Natalie. Give me some stamps. Oh, office supplies, yeah. I have a letter that needs mailing, might be important to my assignment. Aha, combine. Brilliant. We're all stamped up and ready to go. that in there, pick up that dust, back to the quickie pal. I thought it said I know how to curse at you and I thought just you wait till, <laughs> wait till you hear old Joe loud lips. So maybe I should make a, um, maybe what I'll do is I'll start swearing but I'll censor them in YouTube videos because obviously YouTube are funny about swearing, especially in it's like the first, the first minute or whatever. If you swear in it, you know, you're less likely to have adverts or something crazy. Um, and then on, uh, don't they say you porn is quite a good place to upload videos? That could be the uncensored. <laughs> hey, we have power. Now that toilet does look disgusting. Natalie will love this dirty toilet. I only have one shot left. I don't need it. I'm done. I'm done. I can see myself through the grime. Can I grab some? Oh, you can flip the toilet paper. <laughs> it's in the fun for cats position. And we can spin it, nice. Uh, I'm on the right track. Thank you very much, Justin. We got there in the end. Too hot for YouTube. Sometimes I feel that way. If there's any way you could describe me, hot <laughs> is the word. <laughs> 
Okay, let's end off this task. Oh. Here you go. I'm done. Let me, can I, I don't want to quit. Let me keep wandering. How rude of you, Natalie. How rude. Well, let me just quit for a sec. Hang on. I feel like I kind of, I kind of want to do one more set. I feel like we'll be even quicker next time because I'm learning more about what you know everything that's around so um yeah let's let's do let's try and do one more let's just skip some stuff here we go speed run a look at the dead languages of antiquity puff piece on thimblecon 88 take a photo of your of our newest photo journalist okay that's going to be the mirror biting piece on rude bank employees action photo of dangerous wildlife It is like a little mini game, yeah. I quite like it, it's kind of a cute idea. I'm gonna ignore the dust, the dust does nothing. Uh, let me grab some stamps from you now. Oh, I can't. I need to get the letter first, okay. Oh, I'm trying to speed run, hang on. I'm getting ahead of myself. Speed run. Uh, speed run, speed run, speed run would be getting this. Come on, Dolores, I'm trying to speed run here. Faster. Oh, wait, do I have to? I have to go and try it, don't I, first? Doh! Or does it remember? Oh, it remembers. <laughs> Never mind. That's nice of the game. So you don't have to do it all over again. Puff piece on Thimblecon 88. Oh, hang on, was that a screwdriver? It was a screwdriver, give me that. Let's grab the poster, or at least take a photo of the poster. That will do. Excellent. Uh, a look at the dead languages of antiquity. Is that going to be that book that we picked up at the top of... Um, The occult bookstore. I think it might be. Wasn't that about some sort of language? Oh, look. Chucky's playing with his speck of dust. Wait, is it still, is it, is it going to be up here? Yes. Give me that. I think it's pretty neat they, they did this, this whole thing. Kind of, like the intro said, just piecing bits together just to make a bit of a, a bit of a thing to try. A bit of a... Bit of a way to pass the time whilst we're all stuck in lockdown. Did that one do that? Was I right? Yes, I was right. Yes. Biting piece on the rude bank employees. Um, I guess that's just going to be a photo of the, the bank with the sign. That's pretty rude.
ไหมร่องไหมน o that wasn't rude. That wasn't rude enough. Biting piece on rude bank employees. Help wanted bank teller closed until we find one. Hmm. Action photo of dangerous wildlife. What could that be? Dangerous wildlife. Maybe a rat, or uh, rats are very dangerous, don't you know? <laughs> They could have all sorts of nasties. Cone, that's very dangerous. I think it's saying who is mean. On rude bank employees. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I wonder if um. Hang on. Dangerous wildlife. Could that be the um? This plant, that's pretty dangerous. Is it snapping away? There we go. Good stuff. A biting piece on rude bank employees. <laughs> hey, Leonard. Bye, Leonard. <laughs> oh, my chair is so creaky. I need to get some WD-40 for this. See now. Can I talk to Peter? No, I still can't. Poor old Peter just doesn't have a voice in this game, does he? What a shame. They're from Madame Marina. I don't really know why I'm talking to her. Yeah, I don't care. Nobody has a voice. Yeah, true. Yeah. Apart from that grunting, um, when we tried to turn the valve, there was a, a little bit of a voice there. And what was on here? Weathered advertisement. Stupendous Brothers Travelling Circus. Wait a minute. Headline act. Ransom the Clown. Family show. Wow, family show. Starts at 2pm. He's really changed his ways, hasn't he? Missed connection ad. Looking for love. Seeking the person hanging out at the Vista last night. I think we might have a connection. Ooh. Your sheriff wants you to be green and clean a reno. Don't litter on the highway or vandalize the storefronts. Am I just misremembering things or stupendous brothers? What, what were the names of the, the brothers from Monkey Island? Was that stupendous brothers? Pigeon Sisters Plumbing. Let us fix your leaking waters. Nothing is faster than the Pigeon Daughters. Tune your dials to Case Scum 198.7 FM for the gnarliest hits from the... Uh, DJ Cassie says, I hope you like Tune Ahead. No, that's still going even a year later. Wowza. Okay. Oh, banking. 
Safely first savings, where saving saving safely is saving smartly. The stock market is soaring. We don't see it coming down anytime soon. That's a biting piece. Not really, it's just about banking. Yeah, no, it's not enough. <laughs> Fettuccine, oh, okay, Fettuccini brothers. Okay. Let's talk to, let's just hand in what we have right now. Chuck Edmund committed to sanitarium. Uh, due to believing he was part of a computer. <laughs> Case gum to change music styles. Uh, from eclectic rock to esoteric rock. Okay. In celebration of their latest award, the S&D Diner is giving a free commemorative glass with every purchase. That's nice. The store referred to by the locals as Art by Eltron will reopen as a pillow bear factory outlet in early May. I should have read I should have read these at the beginning. The ghost of Franklin, Chuck's, Chuck Edmund's brother, is said to haunt the local Edmund Hotel. Pigeon Brothers are on the case. Oh, does that mean that he didn't really I would have thought that um he would have moved on to the the afterlife. Dad? Dead? A ghost? That can't be. I had breakfast with him this morning. Oh, interesting. After five promotions, security guard and proud father Reyes has been made head of security at the new Pillow Bear factory. It's like a strange timeline we're in. Local groundskeeper Doug... <laughs> Wait a minute. Local groundskeeper Doug Braverman is hired by the White House to dig holes in the Rose Garden. Oh. Oh, that's so lovely. What a nice ending for Doug. He's digging for the president now. Oh, that's made me happy. I'm glad Doug has, uh, has his digging skills have been recognized. What's this one? I would never curse anyone. That would go beyond even my black magic. Come for the big blowout sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Willie's violin repair business is booming due to new BBS ordering and advertising. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Justin. See you later. All right, I was going to give these back, weren't I? Um, yeah, take the ones that are good. They're all perfect, apart from the last one, maybe. Or the last two. This is nice. Blurry. Uh oh. Good one. Mundane. There are some good shots in there. I'm great. Okay, um... Well, biting piece on rude bank employees. Hmm. Can I get any off supplies? I don't know what I'd need right now. No, I won't try. All right, I have one last look, but I'm... <laughs> Some of these are actually pretty tricky, I'm not going to lie. What would be about banking now? Also, does it tell me... 
I've got 10 of 30, yeah. Hmm. Oh wait, could it be the the, the, the foreclosed um, thing? Like how? I don't know. Oh, I've got to talk to Willy. Hang on. Go and cook dinner. Oh no, rude bank employees. Yeah, I guess I do have to get in the bank. I think you're right. Does that mean that I need to... Oh wait, maybe we should ask Delor uh, Lenore to apply for a job as a bank teller. Was that an option? That might be it. Lenore could do a job. Ah ha ha, great minds think alike. Do do do, um... We're sisters, can't we be friends? Enough with the wisecracks. There's a job opening at the bank. Oh, and of course the Nor's going to be rude to us. Perfect. You've got to be kidding. An Edmund from a prestigious Thimbleweed Edmunds taking a teller job? Even if I was to stoop that low, I don't believe you. Well, it's true. I have a photo. Do I? I guess I do. I guess I took one, didn't I? Interesting. Yeah, maybe I'll... No, I... I might stop by. Might. Hmm. Let's see, if I go back there, does that mean that she would have taken it? Does she work fast? Holy moly, she does. <laughs> wow. She must have had a really good interview. Oh, that's not at all creepy. <laughs> that's not very safe. What sort of bank is this? Oh, what's the dangerous device? Oh no, it's good. Is it... Oh, I really want to blow it up. I guess the banker is keeping it safe so the reposition doesn't turn it into radioactive dust. Yeah. I mean, let's just take a picture of you first. Yeah, we've got the shot, but I, I kind of want to press the button. Oh, the batteries are dead. Oh. That was another weird thing about the game, that we could just blow up the mansion. Like, what was the deal with that? Seriously. Just odd. Some of the things in that game was just so odd. Anyway, we're going to hand this in. And I think we're going to be done for this. Uh, here we go. They look great. I guess I'll quit. Bye. <laughs> I don't like how it does that. What's the point of that? I'm just going to get in the game just so I can end off with something in the background. Okay. So, um, that was not what I thought it would be at all. It was it was less than I thought it would be, but I'm, I still enjoyed it. I still think it was quite nice as a little free thing to do. Um, I'm not going to go and do every single one. So I've got 15 to go, but I think for now... We get the gist of it. And, um, yeah. Unfortunately, it is a weekday, so I have work tomorrow. <laughs> oh, well, I'm, I'm not going to moan. I'm going to stop moaning. Anyway, um, so that is going to do it for this little stream here, playing Dolores, a Thimbleweed Park mini adventure. Hope you enjoyed. It was nice to have a little look at what this was. Nothing special, nothing major, but but nice. I'm glad I tried it out. Kind of the same way I felt about the main game. Like, wasn't amazing, wasn't bad. I'm glad I did it. 
That's that's the best way to describe it, I'd say. It is a school day for me. <laughs> uh, that being said, I'm I am not going to have a. I'm not going to end up having an early night. I always say I will, and I never do. I might go back to painting some Airfix models, which is what I've been. I started an Airfix model the other day because I'm actually 87, and. I'm making a model of the HMS Victory. Teeny tiny little model. Maybe when I finish it, I'll put a picture on Twitter. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Um, thank you to everyone who popped by and uh, chatted and helped me figure out some of these not so difficult clues, but I'm just being a bit slow and tired. Um, next time, I have a. Oh, one more thing. So. Yeah, Broken Sword, I know I've said this for a while now, but that is starting soon because I've got quite a few episodes ready to go, so there shouldn't be like a big gap between them. And also, I've got an idea for my next stream because, uh, I don't know, I'll see how it goes, but I think it might make for an interesting stream. It was a game I bought on Humble Bundle, on one of their Humble Bundles, and it's all about being a barista, and you have to listen to people, and you have to listen to their stories, and then make them a drink that suits what they're after. Like a type of coffee or a type of tea or a herbal tea or a, a green tea. And, and with the coffee, you get to make latte art, which is the main reason why I bought this whole pack was for this one game, because I can make digital latte art. So um, I think that might be quite an interesting stream. So I might do that soon. And then eventually, um, I'm going to go back to Super Mario Sunshine, because I really enjoyed that, and that was quite fun. Anyway, that's going to do it. Uh, until next time, thank you everyone for coming, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>